we in conversation with Sanjeev Mehta, where we got to know a lot about his professional life, where he's worked before. But let's get to know Sanjeev as a person. So, let you know, how did you meet your wife, Mona? Uh, an aunt of mine was a friend of Mona's mom, and that's how we got introduced. And uh, Mona was that time working for HSBC in Calcutta, and I had moved to sales and marketing then, and uh, my boss used to sit in Calcutta. So it worked wonderfully well. And I had a lovely guy as a boss who, when he knew uh, about uh, me and Mona, he used to bend backwards to organize meetings in Calcutta so that I could go and meet Mona. And, and then what happened uh, after that? So and after that, a few months getting to know each other, we decided to take the plunge. Oh. And uh, we decided to get married, and Mona took a transfer to Bombay. And how many years have you been married now? We got married in Feb 92, so another uh, few months, and we would complete 20 glorious years. What about your lovely daughters? Tell us a bit about them. Uh, we are blessed. We have two great daughters. Uh, they just uh, completed 17 years. Is they are in the last year of school and uh, coming fall they'll go off to college and that's the moment we are dreading we are looking forward to what's yeah, called they... empty nest syndrome or something no oh, absolutely it, right? absolutely we'll become uh, really empty nesters and uh, you know it's going to be a change of life dad has definitely been a role model i love how he's able to you know manage his time so well we're like his little he calls me beta he calls her princess he pampers us so much dad has never yelled at us he doesn't pamper us to the extent that we become spoiled instead i think it's healthy pampering we love him and he he does make sure that he's able to inculcate all the important values in us without spoiling us but yeah dad's dad what do you do to unwind? One of my most cherished moments are spending time with my family. Very clearly, all of us are pretty avid readers. Yeah, we read a lot, we discuss those things, we travel a lot, we are good travelers. And uh, of course, sports. As an Indian, yeah, we are passionate about cricket, no question about that. And uh, I'm an aspiring golfer, never had time to indulge a lot in golf, but I love golf. So are you taking golfing lessons now? I have taken golfing lessons. Is uh, You know, golf is now more about practice. And uh, if I think, put my head around it, maybe once the girls have gone, we'll get back to golf. Serious more time, golf. Much more time. Than absolutely, time. Yeah. absolutely. You're talking about you're an avid reader. What kind of stuff or books, magazines do you read? Oh, we read a lot. You know, my morning starts with uh, three newspapers we get. Then I get another newspaper in office, so we are regulars with four newspapers. Then a series of magazines, Harvard Business Review, McKinsey Quarterly, and uh, then I read lots of books. And uh, I f firmly believe that, uh, you know, learning is so important to man, yes. and not only to a man, to an, in any organization. And I'm of a firm believer that uh, the biggest competitive advantage that an organization or a human being can get is about learning. The rate and the pace at which you learn will be the biggest single competitive advantage. Thanks for the great uh, insights you gave us. Now let's do something more fun. Oh, certainly. We'll do something called the rapid fire round. All right. It's quite simple. I'm just going to give you option A or B. Can you tell us whether it's A or B? You ready? Ashwarya or Katrina? Ashwarya. Okay. Indian or Chinese? Indian. Shah Rukh or Amir Khan? Amir. Sea or mountain? Mountain. Although we have a lot of sea here. But Absolutely. <laughs> Dubai or Mumbai? Which is where you were brought Mumbai. Uh -huh. Any day. The patriotism comes from Absolutely. There. Okay. Ferrari or Lamborghini? Red Ferrari. Red one. Absolutely. Specific color too. Absolutely. Very good. Unfortunately, Sanjeev, that's what we have time for today. I must say, well, thank you very much for being on the show. It was a pleasure to spend time with you. I look forward to seeing you soon. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you thank very you. much. Thank you. On that interesting note, we come to the end of this episode of Top Guns. I will be back next week with another fascinating story of another Top Gun. Until then, it's Mas Salama from your host, Anesh Jaktiani. If a guy were to say that I want to read just one book in my life, a management book, for instance, 
I would still say read My Years with General Motors by Alfred Sloan. It's a very old book, but it's the classic, principles yeah. of management, what are laid out in that book, were relevant then, and most of them are even relevant now.